Hello everyone and welcome back to the floating head of Simon TV. This was pretty funny. Prime Minister Chris Luxon was caught lying yesterday and it was hilarious. He was in town to film a propaganda video crowing about how he and his incompetent Minister of Police Mark Mitchell are tackling crime in central Auckland. Unfortunately for him, he was forced to scurry away because of a security threat, if you can believe that. Have a look at his video. If you've been in the Auckland CBD in recent years, you've probably felt unsafe because thugs have been running rampant and crime has been rife. Well, it was so good today to walk around the CBD, chatting with store workers and security guards and locals who told me they're feeling safer because of what our government did a month ago. On the 1st of July, we deployed new cops here to keep the place safe and it has already started to make a difference with folks saying that they're noticing a much stronger police presence. Now this is all early stages and I get it, but this is really good news and our crackdown on crime and our plan to restore law and order in New Zealand. This is all lies. There are no foot patrols in central Auckland. Not one, absolutely zero. And no one who lives or works in central Auckland can remember the last time they saw police on the beat. Because it simply does not ever happen. Luxon showed up with his own police escort to film this ludicrous propaganda. And all the police, every single one of them, left with him after they'd finished filming. But even with his very own personal police escort, central Auckland wasn't safe for our Prime Minister. This next clip was taken from his laughable press conference about community safety a few minutes earlier. Watch his security evacuate Luxon because Auckland is not safe for anyone. Uh, today was important because um, Police Commissioner and Police announced uh, at the end of last month that they would put more cops on the beat in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch and it's amazing within a matter of weeks to see that that commitment's been followed through and more than delivered uh, and the results that we've seen engaging with retailers today but also talking to the police themselves, uh, it's making a difference and what we're here to do is to make sure that we have more police out and about on the beat but importantly that we are restoring law and order in New Zealand and that people are feeling safer in their homes, their businesses and their communities and so uh, it's been really good and I want to thank the Commissioner and the police for uh, their efforts in actually making sure that this actually comes to life and is actually happening for real on the ground and it's been making a fantastic difference. So thank you very much, Commissioner Costa. Okay, Families as well. We go. Okay, go. thanks guys. Appreciate it. How about that? The Prime Minister of this country scurrying away like the pathetic little oompa loompa that he is. Have another look. Families as well. We go. Okay, go. thanks guys. Appreciate it. We need to leave right now, says the diplomatic security officer. Well, that's not an option for those of us who live and work here and have to put up with all the crime that is making our city unlivable. Unlike Cindy Boy, Aucklanders don't have close quarters security to protect us. We don't even have police foot patrols to protect our community. Prime Minister Chris Luxon is a buffoon, and so is his incompetent police minister, Mark Mitchell. Crime in central Auckland is out of control, and these two chuckleheads are doing nothing to solve it. They're even resorting to blatantly lying about it and running away like a couple of little schoolgirls. Thank you for watching. See you next time.